Hello everybody, my name is Chad Bra, and today I have a pretty special video for you, I suppose. Um, as you guys know, I just made my candy bar tier list, and now I'm going to do it with 3D Sonic games. So two things that are pretty unrelated in all honesty, but uh, two things that are very much part of my childhood. So... Here's the thing. These are 3D Sonic games. I might make a list doing the 2D Sonic games. Sonic the Hedgehog was like my childhood along with Legend of Zelda. And I would say that Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time is my favorite game of all time. But I wouldn't say that it was as big a part of my childhood as is Sonic the Hedgehog. So yeah, anyway, these are 3D Sonic games. Most of these I've played, but... We're going to start out saying, I have not played this game. I heard Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric was worse than Sonic 06. Speaking of which, I don't see Sonic 06 right here. Um, but I heard it was even worse. And Sonic 06 is like top 20 worst games ever made. Um, besides the music. The music is like amazing. And the graphics are actually kind of good. But anyways... Um, I haven't played Sonic Forces. I heard it was kind of, eh, it was like mediocre. Um, I haven't played Sonic Lost World, and I haven't played it for the Wii U either. Oh, wait, no, here's Sonic 06, and I haven't played this one either, so I'm sorry. There, there's five games I haven't played. That's a big chunk of off our list, in all honesty, but I've played the rest of these, and, and let's rank them. Okay, so first we have Sonic Unleashed um, for the ps3 and xbox 360 i played it on the xbox 360 i would say i'm gonna give it a b i would probably give it an a or even an s tier but the thing is the werehog stages and collecting the medallion thingamajiggers whatever they're called uh were a real pain in all honesty um the werehog stages are just super slow and they focus on combat and the combat isn't even that good it's just kind of subpar it's not like you know batman arkham city type type stuff um or you know even even like assassin's creed it's just it's boring but the day stages when you're regular sonic are incredibly fun they're super they're, they're like a roller coaster ride and that's why i put it at b tier and not like c or even D. Okay, Sonic and the Secret Rings. Um, I like the music, but the gameplay and controls are terrible. Um, and, uh, yeah, and the storyline was... I, they only made two storybook Sonic uh, games, so Secret Rings and Black Knight. It, it just, I, I don't know. It, the gameplay was not really that good. Controls were whack. Uh... The bosses were kind of fun. The music was great. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give that a C tier. Shadow the Hedgehog is just edgy. Edgy the Hedgy. And it deserves a D tier. It's the worst. It's just... Uh, the controls were terrible. You had to you had to beat the levels like a thousand and a half times to get all the endings. And just the whole shooting aspect was just super just super dumb and plus they had had like cursing right and and you know i can handle a game that has cursing in it right but it's just the fact that it was trying to be so edgy oh wow shadow he's cursing he's you know it's it's like an 11 year old trying to be edgy on on call of duty right okay so sonic adventure 2 here's the thing sonic adventure 2 is not like an amazing game I would say it's pretty good, but it's not like amazing, but I'm going to put it at S tier. And the reason why, let's see, here we go. there we go. I'm going to put it at S tier. And the reason why is because it was the first Sonic, not just 3D Sonic game, but first Sonic game I ever played. I think I was about five, maybe even six years old. And I was like, whoa, I'm going so fast. I have to run away from this, this big black semi truck in uh in the very first level you know city escape so i have very fond memories of it and it deserves an s tier so i also have fond memories of sonic adventure but it's not quite as nostalgic for me as regular or sorry sonic adventure 2 um it's fun and you you got to play as more characters in sonic adventure 
but here's the thing I never beat it and some of them some of the the scenes were just weird and that that the graphics were weird and they would the the mouths when they were speaking the the dialogue would not match up with their their mouth motions and it's just weird um and you know you you never i i wouldn't i wouldn't say you wouldn't as fast you didn't go that fast like in even in sonic adventure 2 and especially in sonic unleashed sonic unleashed you went crazy fast it was like a fetching roller coaster ride okay so sonic and the black knight i'm gonna give this a b tier um the sword aspect was actually kind of fun for me and um the controls weren't were better they, they weren't good but they were better than sonic and the secret rings i liked i really like the music um and i like how you can play as different characters right you could play as sir Gawain, which is knuckles and sir lancelot which is shadow and sir percival even though it's not a sir it's blaze the cat it's a girl um but yeah it was so that was kind of fun but the controls were whack the graphics were cool and i kind of liked the aspect of sonic being in a medieval setting okay so enough with that so now we got sonic colors i'm gonna put it up at a tier not b tier a tier and it would be a higher than sonic adventure if not for the nostalgia factor um sonic colors you just play as sonic and that's something i really love because you know you kind of when you buy a sonic game you kind of want it to go fast right um and the wisps were really interesting the different wisp powers you can get were really interesting and they were fun um i never completed it fully i didn't get like all the ma the chaos emeralds and i couldn't transform into supersonic but i still had tons of fun playing it and it was just beautiful and colorful and music was great um it's just a great game okay so now we got sonic generations i am going to put this as at s tier okay just the fact you could switch between 3d sonic and 2d sonic was really really cool and you were just sonic right and you would always go fast like there's no slowing down pretty much and, and you just had to maintain momentum um graphics were beautiful and you know I, I first played this one when, when I was like 14 or maybe 15, but it did have a nostalgia factor, right? Because it was all the past games, um, up to that point pretty much. Um, so yeah, it was, it's, it was just super hard to go wrong with it. It's just a great game. Okay. So Sonic heroes for me gets B tier. So good nostalgia factor. I remember playing it on my GameCube, but I did not like the power or flight time. You know, when you had to use Knuckles or Tails or, you know, other characters that are basically carbon copies of Knuckles and Tails, because uh, you had to really slow down. You just stop at a door and then you'd look around. You say, hey, look, there's something to pull and you pull that thing you pull a lever or whatever and it opens a door and you're like okay well that wasn't that fun it's not like a slow action adventure puzzle game like zelda it's supposed to be kind of fast paced but they just have you make all these unnecessary stops the combat wasn't fun but it has a good nostalgia factor it has pretty good music okay uh sonic unleashed for the wii is uh it's i mean eh, it's like all right <laughs> i guess it's it's with sonic and the secret rings i don't like it nearly as much as the xbox version and um the reason why is because i didn't like swinging my wii remotes all the time <laughs> in order you, you know for the combat stages right because my arms would just get tired after a bunch of swinging and the fact that the graphics weren't that good um and they just made a better version later sonic unleashed for the xbox 360 and the ps3 it's it was just better um and uh yeah i think that's that's all of them so yeah these i haven't played this one sucked 
These two are just kind of subpar. These are okay. These are good and these are great. Okay. So, um, yeah, anyways, you guys are totally welcome to rant about me in the comment section. Go for it. But this is my opinion. It's my silly, silly opinion. And I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is Shadbra signing out.